Hey Felts. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a choropleth map in Felt. Now if you don't know what a choropleth map is, it's basically a map showing polygons that are styled by a numeric variable, colored by a numeric variable. So in this case we're going to create a map of population density per county in the US. And the reason why we're going to show population density instead of total population is because it's normally not a great idea to show raw value counts in a choropleth map, especially if the sizes of polygons change a lot. So in this case, for instance, U.S. counties vary a lot in size from the east coast to the west coast. And a good example is San Bernardino County, which has a, here it is, which has um, a large total population, but actually a pretty low population density. There's not a lot of people living per square mile in it. Okay, so enough chit chat. We're going to go ahead and style this map. And to do that, we're going to go to the layer in the legend and click on the edit button and then switch from a simple style to a color range style. Okay, and instead of coloring by the total population, we're going to switch the attribute to the population density per square mile. Okay, this map doesn't look too great right now because we're styling continuously from the minimum to the maximum value and there's a lot of variation. There's, it's actually offset a lot because of New York. So we're going to go and change this classification to another method. We're going to use something called Jenks Natural Breaks, which is normally a good middle ground um, to show diversity. Um, to highlight the higher values a bit more, instead of using five steps, we're going to switch that to nine. And finally, I'm just going to choose a different color ramp, which maybe suits the data a little bit better, like this one. Okay, then now let's just give it a final finishing touch. I'm going to go in and add a caption to the data so that we can tell people what these numbers are about. And in this case, it's population per square mile. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.